video. And thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate it so much and I feel so blessed that you guys are still here and I received so much support when I didn't post much since I was kind of busy with life. So thank you again for being here. Yeah, I just got back from shopping with my best friend. <laughs> and as you can probably see, I curled my hair. Do you guys like it? So today's video is not about fashion or taking pictures or how to photoshop them. As the first video in 2019, I wanted to make this about a personal inner transformation that I've realized within this few months. So I've been feeling this way for a year and a half. It wasn't just about some specific things, for example, like um, career or, you know, financial status or relationships or, you know, it's more about the overall state of Um, I wasn't happy for at least a year. Of course, when I hung out with friends or when I went on vacation, I was happy, but it was only temporary. And I didn't know that I wasn't truly happy. I thought I was. Deep down, there was a void that I cannot fill. That's what she said! That's what she said! And I was confused. I didn't know what was that. I got scared of facing it and making real changes that I ducked my head into the sand. I ignored my true feelings, but I knew that I wasn't satisfied with the life I was in. Somehow, I mistakenly saw that it was normal. <sighs> so, in 2018, a lot of bad things, bad news, and tragic changes happened to me. And it felt to me like I was fighting with a super strong villain who was disguised as life. And every time I, like, it kept hitting me with attacks. And every time I got back from the ground, I'm back on my feet. It hit me back on the floor um, with the stacks again. So I once let go of my inner stronger self and I blamed life and adulthood. Maybe we all heard of the saying, adulthood sucks or life sucks and people accept that. And I did too. When I saw positive videos or people on the internet or around me, I always smirked for that I saw that they didn't know the struggling and suffering. So they were always, you know, so blindly positive. But now that I've realized that everyone is actually going something and there are a lot of people who's gone through shit, who's gone through so many tragedies, and yet they are back on their feet. I've come to realize that life doesn't suck. Life doesn't have to be chaotic. We let it be chaotic. It's always easier to blame other things in life. For example, like at the family that we grew up in, our parents, our childhood, our partners, etc. Then blaming ourselves. There are always so many, like so many other things to blame except for ourselves. It's hard to admit that we are the only the one and only cause of the situation we are in right now. We can only change ourselves, and yet it's too powerful for the majority of us to accomplish. I am proud that this is the first time in my life that I am truly, completely relying on myself, taking care of myself, making myself happy and enjoying my own company. I remember discussing it with my friends about six months ago, and I was saying that I've never been good at being single or just alone. I tend to have too many distractions and then I invest again, before knowing what I truly want, what makes me happy. I am happier, stronger, spending more me time, <laughs> and I am loving it. I'm back to the positive me. I am more determined than ever to achieve my goals, and I hope you can too. Oh, I want to share a saying with you. If you want to change your life, you will find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. So now I would like to share with you some little tips that I found useful during this journey of my own. But the first tip that I would like to give to you today is to be honest with yourself. Don't ignore your feelings. People do not always allow themselves to have negative feelings because it's seen as not strong enough or a wuss or a drama queen. So they push it down. The truth is that they are scared of facing those feelings. So the first step is to admit it. Be honest to yourself about your feelings. Your gut is trying to tell you something, so listen to it. And the second one is let go of comparison. <laughs> I've always lived in a competitive atmosphere, but I don't quite like it. You don't have to compare yourself to other people because every single one of us is unique and different. You're on your own path, at your own face, in your own life journey. You don't exactly know what are other people going through, neither do they know about you. You're the only one who needs to see your magic. Remember that. And the third one is to spend some alone time with yourself. Nowadays, people can always be so occupied with so many different activities and they are afraid of being alone. But are you truly fulfilled? You can't find your calling, your desire, your true wishes if you're always distracted and don't have time to listen to yourself. The next one is reading. It heals your heart and soul by learning from other people's experiences and kind words. Right now, I am reading Who Says 
course you can't. You can. It's recommended by a good friend of mine and it's just so brilliant. Reading will empower you in ways that you couldn't even imagine. Choose wisely. Choose wisely about what books to read, what friends to make, and what social accounts to follow. Like I said, the inspiring book that I'm reading right now is recommended by a good friend of mine. She is also so inspiring and so kind. But what if instead of hanging out with people who never stop learning and growing themselves, I hang out with people who keep complaining about the world and seeing the world as a dark place? Opinions around us can and will affect us in an unconscious way, of course. So choose your company wisely. Say goodbye to people who keep dragging you down to their emotional black holes, who always provide you nothing but negative energies. There is also another important point is to seek help. If you are seriously and deeply depressed, please don't hesitate to talk to your parents, to your family members, to your partners or teachers at your schools, whatever, or just a consultant or a psychologist. Mental health is a big deal. Last but not least is to be patient. It's a process and there will be setbacks. There will be ups and downs. Sometimes you feel sad or lonely and it's okay. You don't have to rush to be okay. Give yourself time, embrace who you are, including your insecurities and mess up times. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you like it. I am just here to share my own experience. And comment down below if you have anything that you want to share with all of us. And if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up or click the subscribe button down there somewhere. I'll deeply appreciate it. All right. Thank you so much and happy new year. Wish you all a healthy and happy new year. Love you guys. See you in the next video.